Hello again everyone and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between strokes versus the close gap tool. They both kind of do the same thing, they, they work with the stroke which is the invisible line that I talk about in another video but we're going to talk about the, the differences and the strengths of both. So here we are with Skinner again, our skull head and I'm going to talk about how I would maybe fill in the back part of this mouth here. The, uh, one of the ways you could do it, obviously, is going into the drawing, depending on how it's divided up. And I could just use the color art layer and the paintbrush, and I could just paint behind like this. And and that's all well and good. If, you, if you're if you okay and you've got the space to, to do it on the, on the layer behind, that's gonna work nicely for you. But sometimes you need to work on the same drawing, the same art layer, the, the line art like I have here. And if I need to do that, and I just need to make a quick adjustment um, using the the brush, uh, the brush, the pencil tool like this, sometimes creates this overlap, and that's not you know it's not ideal. You can draw it first if you want to, and then remove it. But um, the best way, often, if you are just trying to quickly put something in and you don't want any lines to delete because they can get quite fiddly, is to use something like the stroke tool. The stroke tool, like I said, remember, is this invisible line. So I'm pressing K to toggle the visibility of those invisible lines that are appearing blue on your screen. And if I wanted to draw from here to here, and then the same here, it's uh, it's going to give me a nice area that I can then use the paint bucket tool and fill in. Okay, then if I press K and I hide those, I've now got a like a, you know, an invisible edge bounding box. Um, well, boundary line, I suppose, is the, is the correct term. But if I if you uh, look at what I just did there, when I use the stroke, the problem with the stroke is it allows you to go through the the point. You end up with these little like splints, these little bits that are kind of you know overhanging, and you, sometimes you can't draw a straight line. And you have to go in and adjust it. So that's not ideal if if that's you know the usage that you're looking for. So instead, this is where the power of just go backwards a bit. The power of click and hold on the paint bucket tool, close gap comes in. This will look for the shortest route between any two points that you draw from. And it's mainly used for closing gaps. You know, when you are drawing line art and you're trying to fill something in or you've you've pushed the strokes down to another uh, layer, which we'll talk about in another video, which is useful for traditional animation. But you know that thing where you're trying to color something in and you're just pressing fill on the, on the paint bucket and it just won't fill in and you can't see where the gaps are? Well, Toon Boom has this cool function, um, which is close gap to sort those gaps out, but it also has a, a really nice way of notifying you of gaps. You can see here it's given me yellow boxes with a red outline and they appear the same size no matter how zoomed in or out you are so you can see them um, from afar and basically they are although these aren't perfect this is telling me that there's a gap here there's an end of a line so this is because i've got a double line so ignore that so if i have a gap like i've drawn here with with my stroke tool it will give me a little uh, yellow indicator and no matter where how how small that gap is it will still tell me, hey, there's maybe a gap here. You know, I can zoom right in and it's telling me there's something there, yeah? So um, that's a very useful thing. And then you can use the close gap tool to sort those out. But you can also use it to quickly fill areas. So here, I'm gonna just draw from here to here. And you see how it snapped that line. It picked a slightly closer, um, you know, point and it snapped it through. So maybe the second one is here and it snapped it through there. Now if you ever want to adjust these, it gives you a nice clean straight line. You can hold down the Alt key and click and drag, and this is giving me a weird star effect, which is not ideal. But you can also just click on the line if you just want to curve it and pull it, because sometimes pulling out tangents um, isn't ideal, but then pulling the curve on the line will give you a tangent to work with. So, you know, one of the two methods is going to give you a, the best way of um, kind of adjusting that uh, contour line. Of the stroke and then you can fill it in and if you if you want to take your your fill parameters right down to zero so it won't close um, any gaps now it's just going to fill it all as a nice shape then I press K zoom right back out and I've got a background to my my mouth uh, which is um, you know technically in, incorrect but hey it's a drawing we don't uh, we don't care it's just for a bit of fun so that's how the difference between the stroke and the close gap tool work and why are why they are so powerful 
um, and use them in lots of different situations. Remember the stroke is the wiggly one that's kind of freehand but a bit unruly and the close gap is very regimented and straight and it will just um, seek to close those gaps for you. I hope this video has been useful. Thanks for watching.